Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Aurora 4X. So, yesterday, we uh, got a little bit, we got enough terraforming done in Sydney that we can start establishing further colonies. Uh, so, now we will begin the process of mining some of Sydney's resources. So, the first thing we want to do uh, is... At the moment, we have a uh, level one sector command. So what we want to do is we want to give um, the sector governor, who has a really nice mining bonus, the range to reach both Sydney and Canberra. So what we will do is we will build some more sector commands. All right. So. Now, I can't remember if, it, if we need two or three or four, uh, because it does use, I believe, a square progression. Um, so we'll probably only need the, the second one to get a radius of two, but we will um, we'll, we'll check that once it's actually done. Uh, and then, in the meantime, what we'll do is, which one do we want to start mining first? I'm thinking Sydney Prime, because it's got that lovely geranium, and as well as boronide, macassium, and a little bit of corundium. Uh, and that corundium is going to let us build our own mines over there and stuff as well, uh, which is handy. Uh, building some mines on site instead of having to rely on shipments from Earth. So... Uh, on the other hand, Sydney 4 has the Neutronium and the Corbamides. And it's got even more Corundium and Uranium, but it's much less accessibility. It also has the Gallocyte, which is, well, not very accessible at all. So, no, I like Sydney Prime more. So, let's get Sydney Prime some mines. So what we'll do is we will demand 200 auto mines and 400 regular mines. We also want uh, 10 mass drivers. All right, so on Earth, how many mass drivers do we have? We have seven, so we're going to have to build a few more. So mass driver, uh, let's build eight more. What's going to finish first? June, July, August. Sector command is going to finish first. So we'll do 50 of those. Uh, how many auto mines do we have? We have 100 auto mines. 600 of them. So we will need um, can we afford one hundred of these? Probably not. Okay, let's shift the balance a little bit. So we'll only demand one hundred auto mines. And the 400 mines is fine. So we'll supply 100 automated mines. And we can supply the 400 standard mines. Um, and we will delay, we will send two mass drivers initially. And we will wait from there. How are we doing on these? These are source and source. These are both destination. Good. All right. <clears throat> so now if we turn on civilians, they don't have them. Oh, there they are. They're all over there. Why are they all still with Cromwellan? I think they were just left at Cromwell and because they don't have any work to do. I mean, there's nothing there. Oh, there's mass drivers. All 
Okay, well, no, this is good. We have the two advanced driver supplies, so we got two from there. So we had two. So we got two more than we actually thought we had. Excellent. <clears throat> but if we now watch, we should see these guys begin moving to Earth and then heading off to, towards Sydney. And the jump point is there. There we go. So they're already starting to transit um, those mines from Earth to Sydney Prime. And there's assignments. Hmm. Not that many freighters at the moment. I think these guys are still organizing themselves. Yeah, now they're on the way. Oh well. Okay. So we will let that run now. <clears throat> Alright, 25 centimeter laser is almost done. Excellent. And then we'll get far ultraviolet laser. <clears throat> and then we can upgrade our beam frigates. Or beam destroyers. We've got marine companies in a second as well, so we'll be able to do our boarding crew, boarding crew. Although we should probably start doing that now. Um, <clears throat> boarding craft, here we go. So, we do need the company cryo bay. There we go. And we will need... <clears throat> Need some fuel. And we'll need a little bit of maintenance. I could probably even get away with with a fighter maintenance. Point twenty two years, there we go. <clears throat> Deployment time of only uh, half a month, so 15 days, there we go. Alright, this is not too bad at all. So we can reliably board any craft doing 3,000 kilometers a second or slower. And it's 1,300 tons, so we can get a small uh, capital... Uh, small uh, carrier to, well, carry it. We don't, need, we don't want any weapons, we don't necessarily want any armor, we don't need or want anything else. So this will be it. Do we have a boarding craft? No. Assault shuttle, there we go. Okay, we will... Give it an auto name. Oh, something's broken. That's fine. We'll cover it in a second. Uh, <clears throat> and we will call it... Actually, how big is the boarding pod? If we strip out the engines... No, we really need that speed more than we need the fighter bay. On the other hand, we could literally make it a fighter. And this way we can carry it on an existing carrier. And we still have the 20,000 kilometers, so we lose a thousand worth of speed for reliable boarding, but it'll do. It'll do. So, 
we'll rename it to mm, there we go and we can probably reduce the mass a little mass further can we get another tiny Yes, we can. All right, brilliant. So that is going to be our assault shuttle. And it's a fighter, which means we can build it here. Absolutely fantastic. All right, we will go ahead and yeah, now we can we can build those pretty quick, so it's not that important to have them immediately. Uh, what we do need is... We have a troop transport, so we can put the marines in there, strap them to the carrier, and then just shuffle, uh, just bring all of them across. Uh, what I do want, though, is I do want a second shell water. <clears throat> um, I'll need to give it a name type... Um, Yeah, I like islands. There we go. Uh, come on. Oh, I just did. I just did. Uh, it looks like we've run into a little bit of a... Am I trying to... Did I change the wrong shell water? Well, it's got the internal fusions. It's definitely the right shell water. Oh, no. It is the wrong shell water. I need, really need to refit this, uh, retool this into something else because that's the wrong shell water. Okay, uh, great. Yeah, that, that's that's all right. Okay, so we will go ahead and start construction on uh, our Crete carrier. Um, Twenty six to six. It'll actually be done before the retooling of the marathon. So. That will be fine. And our lasers are... <clears throat> Done. Okay, so now we've got the 25 centimeter laser uh, technology. Uh, we're going for advanced spinal mount. Well, we need that anyway, so that is fine. How are we doing on mines in Sydney? Have we got any yet? Nope, none have arrived yet. But we've already lost two and a few more. So, yeah, we've got plenty on the way to load and plenty on the way to unload. Beautiful. So that will keep them busy for a while. Um, you'll notice that, uh, where is it? Oh, I don't think it's come up yet, but it, it will shift to expenditure to show that we are paying for civilian contracts once the month ticks over. The tug has moved across. Okay, so now we should be terraforming uh, Melbourne, terraforming, oh, no, Canberra, here we go. Yeah, so we are now terraforming that. Excellent. So 
civilian contracts there we go so you'll see that we're paying civilian contracts however um i think it's council's exports not sure <clears throat> but yeah even this the civilian contract it's 0.2 percent of our expenditure research and construction and even purchase of civilian minerals um, accounts for the largest proportion of expenditure. And that will eventually improve. <clears throat> or oh, that will eventually go away once all the mines have been moved. So much fleet two. What were they doing? I think they were returning home or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. <clears throat> oh, watch the tech. Okay. Sector command finished, and yep, that's gone to radius too. So now, Sydney should start getting the sector governor bonuses but i guess not yet civilian administrators earth sector yeah hmm oh well uh, let's get some miners on sydney so um, mining and factory production yeah perfect for sydney prime you can have that and you can have sydney a4 because that's where we'll be mining next as well <clears throat> oh that reminds me probably should get some factories as well so we'll get about 100 construction factories shipped across as well There we go. Uh, we won't need fuel or infrastructure. No, that's all we need. So for Sydney Prime, we want probably auto mines. No, it's fine. But we have now started mining uh, Sydney Prime, so we will start building up stockpiles of resources, which is great. And we started automated mines and some more uh, production in Sydney. <clears throat> what on earth? Uh, next tech should be gas rate of fire. Four, and then the marine company <clears throat> and once we get some marine companies we can start aboarding those um, hive workers Okay, um, how are we doing on, oh right, Salvage Fleet 2, which is our freighters, okay, um, we will need the rest of the steward components. Oh, um, speaking of which, uh, the cycle for 
shipping PDC components does not work. Um, it will make one run and then fail. Um, but if you uh, repeat the orders, so if you set up a cycle to load, move, unload, return, and then hit the repeat, um, that should work fine. But cycle moves does not. Uh, anyway, uh, so it can carry up to 15, but it's only loaded 4 because that's all that's left. And as soon as it arrives, we will need to begin assembly on Sydney Prime. Hopefully it will have some um, construction factories by then. Yeah, it's got some construction factories now, which is excellent. <clears throat> so we will be able to finally assemble... There we go. So if we now go to assemble PDC, there we go. It's going to cost us 1880, so it's going to take a long time with they with them as they are. But we will go ahead and start production uh, as more uh, factories get shipped over. Uh, we will have that um, brought in. Where is Sydney? Hang on. Yeah, Sydney's one over. Uh, let's have a look at sectors. Um, Sectors. Here we go. Hmm. Could it be possible that we have to set Sydney as a sector? Uh, here we go. Sectors. Right, so we haven't actually set uh, the systems as part of the sector. Um, so when, so the sector, sector command only gives you the maximum range that you can uh, put systems in. So, But you do need to manually set them to the Earth sector. So we'll go ahead and set Sydney and Canberra as part of the Earth sector. There we go. And now, when we go to Sydney Prime, bingo. Now we're getting that, that sector governor bonus. Um, and that will give us the a little bit extra mining rate and a little bit extra production. Okay. Uh, now that we get those, we will continue on. Okay. Uh, Robert Aitken, how are you doing on maintenance supplies? Plenty left, but starting to run out soon. Uh, we might have to recall, recall him soon. But civilians are, are producing more because they are uh, working harder. And we have our Collins back, which is great. <clears throat> All right, Galasite on QX113 has been exhausted. So that's empty, so civilian mines should move along elsewhere. Okay, mine on Earth has finally completed production. 
Uh, let's build another hundred. Because we will basically need, you know, thousands of mines eventually, but for now, we'll build another hundred. Okay. <clears throat> How are we doing? Still only have the four. <clears throat> Hasn't even put a dent in it. Uh, one thing to note is that once you've started assembling, you'll see that the PDC components are gone, which means do not cancel the job. Um, once you start assembling, it takes those components and those components disappear. If you cancel the job, you don't get those components back. So under no circumstances should you ever cancel an assembly job. Uh, if you need to stop it, drop the percentage to zero or pause it, but do not cancel it or you will lose those components and everything that you paid for them. Uh, they're still shipping mines, that's fine. Oh, wait a second, no, there's no, there's no construction factories. They're the construction brigades. All right. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're the construction brigades, so there's no actual factories there at all. All right, Corbomind Mind on Earth has been exhausted. There we go. Uh, next up on the chopping block will be Sorium. But that is expanding, so that is going to take a bit longer to exhaust as well because we are pulling mines away. Quite, uh, quite a significant rate too. Ah, there is our Gauss cannons. Alright, the next rate of fire attack is way too far away. Uh, so we will work on... Three-stage thermonuclear warhead. That'll take a while, but... That's all right. We'll grind. We'll, we can just grind it out. Yeah, 0.4 liter engines isn't too far away either. That is fantastic news. <clears throat> the fuel con the fuel consumption tech is really just such vital technology to any empire, especially a large one. Um, because if you have a look, right, if you have a look at the fuel use, that's the only thing that changes. So you are literally getting free range on your engines by getting better fuel tech. There is no other cost to the engine apart from um, the RP cost for the tech. Uh, th there's no cost of the engine. There's no material cost. There's no... Um, wealth cost is nothing. It's just pure free range uh, on your engines. So it, it really just shows exactly how vital this technology is and how important it is that you get it down low. Um, it gives you more range on, and literally every ship ever, everywhere, will benefit from this because every ship uses engines and every engine is going to have that benefit because there's no reason at all to use a higher consumption than what you actually have. Ah, marine companies are done. Now we need to build some. Okay. Um, do we have any logistics left? Uh, we could boost the ground strength a wee bit. Plus 2,000 points, that's nothing. Um, combat engineers um, n help and negate the difficulty of raiding um, things that are in a PDC. So we'll add them. And yeah, I think after that we'll probably be done with logistics and ground combat um, tree. 
and then we can take the ten, those 10 labs and put them somewhere to better use. Uh, da, 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 nothing else important. Another jump point in Melbourne. That thing's full of them. Alright. But we are starting to run out of time soon. I'm getting up there. Um, so what I'll do is I will put a cut in here. I will get the marine brigade, uh, marine uh, companies researched up. I will get a few of the boarding ships uh, constructed. And how far away is the next, is the other carrier? It's not very far at all. So everything should slowly come together. Ooh, Kanze One has moved to subjugated. Great. There's nothing there, but we are subjugating nothing. Um, but um, yeah, so shore water will get will get constructed soon. Um, Arunta will you know, we'll have to figure out what to do with that. Um, the marine company will be finished in about a year. Uh, I think four is all that we'll need at the moment, and we will go ahead and get our boarding craft built as well. And once all that comes together. Um, I will, we will start off from there with the next episode and I will show you how to do boarding actions from start to finish. So thank you very much for watching. I know it hasn't been too exciting today, uh, but tomorrow it should be a lot more interesting. See you all next time.